Hey folks, this is Swapnil Bhatia from Moktwe.com and today I'm going to share with you something really exciting and this is uh, Ubuntu running on a tablet, the, the one of the most popular Android tablets, Nexus 7. So this is my buddy Android and this is Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, it's a 16 GB tablet. I have connected a, a, a cable so that I can use my mouse and keyboard via Bluetooth. It's an on-the-go uh, cable. And this is my uh, keyboard and then there is, sorry, this is my mouse and there is keyboard. Uh, the reason I'm using keyboard and mouse is because these icons uh, are very small to be used. I do have a, a pen, but uh, it's it, it was really hard. It was really challenging to use it with the with the, with the fingers or so so here here you have Ubuntu running on Nexus 7 let's see what do we have here it's actually a complete desktop I don't know the battery life but for now it's exciting so this is your dash you go there and you see the whole uh, applications and files and folders and music uh, I installed LibreOffice and GIMP on it so let's see how good LibreOffice is on this uh, tablet. Actually, I was uh, trying it and the previous session it crashed. So I had to install, uh, restart it. So this time I will not try to run too many applications at the same time. That's the mistake I made and it did not work, it crashed. One problem that I see with LibreOffice is the on-screen keyboard is not working. So I will have to uh, use my keyboard. I am testing. Ubuntu on Nexus 7 Muktware. So this is, I just typed on it and let's uh, make it a bit bigger. And here you go, bigger. Now and let's change the font. Uh, let's give it Ubuntu font, Ubuntu. So here, so I hope that uh, Oh, so so one of the most exciting things is that I'm I'm running a LibreOffice on a tablet, quote unquote, and then you can have presentation and all the other applications. I'm closing it. I have tried and I have. You can run multiple applications, but it crashed, so I don't want to take the risk again. Then you have your Nautilus uh, file browser, which you can use to browse files. So here you go and then you have Firefox browser. The audio is working but when I try to play any mp3 or rhythm box it doesn't work so I don't know the situation of audio at the moment. I don't know this, this on screen keyboard should not appear when I have my keyboard connected. The so you can see Mukti are running there. All the drivers, all the hardware drivers are working fine. Battery is showing 54%. I don't know how accurate is that. Bluetooth, it gets connected, but it disconnects. So I couldn't use uh, my Bluetooth mouse or keyboard. So I had to use that dongle. Uh, yes, I got all my the wireless is working. So I connected to my uh, network. It's, speakers it's a bit tricky I, there is something uh, wrong there I couldn't I can hear audio I can I can change sound settings and hear audio but when I try to play something I cannot play anything here let me let us try again let us go to uh, radio and try to play something oh it seems like it's trying to play but I cannot hear any audio because there is no audio oh the audio key is not working at the moment let us see the status of the audio setting i will try not to do too much there now you can see it's actually multitasking your firefox browser is uh, open there i'm running rhythm box and i'm also trying to uh, change the audio. so you see audio is there but it is not playing 
this seed test. There is no test sound here. So, I think there is some issues with sounds. Of course, this is the first uh, test version, so there may be issues. So, there is no sound at the moment, that does not matter. This is a browser, I will close it. I have already showed you LibreOffice. Let us see GIMP. GIMP is one of the most uh, exciting applications that I would want because I draw a lot of things. I do have a tablet. It does not work with Ubuntu anymore. Um, I use my tablet for a lot of drawing. There are some cool apps. I have uh, AutoCAD Sketchbook Pro there, but you cannot beat GIMP. Uh, this tablet is not pressure sensitive, so you cannot take advantage of pressure sensitivity here, unlike your uh, Galaxy Note 2. So, here I have my pen, and uh, let us see what we can do here. So, I can, I can use a pen here, I can select the color, and you can And then you can also uh, use your finger to, you, I will just create a new file there. And you can use your finger to, to write things there. <coughs> I will close it. So, you have GIMP running on this amazing tablet. It is surprising that it is still running on battery. Let us uh, close it. Okay, So, I have showed you GIMP, I have showed you Firefox, I have showed you LibreOffice. Uh, you can install applications here. I have installed LibreOffice and GIMP. It did not come with it. So, you have this Ubuntu Software Center. I ran terminal and I installed, uh, I updated it and then I installed GIMP from terminal because uh, Ubuntu Software Center will take a lot of time to just load. So, it was easier and faster for me to install game from there. So, here you see you can you can install anything you want here. So, here you have Ubuntu running on uh, Nexus 7. It is full desktop. So, whatever you can do on a regular desktop you can do here and I think the things will only improve. Now, what are my thoughts about running Ubuntu on this tablet? When I use Ubuntu on this tablet, that is when I realize that Ubuntu is not ready for touch based devices. Only thing that is working right now is launcher. It, it, it's the icons are big, so you can use them. But uh, if you look at the top panel, it's too small to use it at all. It means you cannot change any settings there. And then if you go in applications, those applications are still using those uh, traditional menus. So you cannot use any application because it's totally impossible to to go to menu and open them. Global menu is actually a big pain uh, if, if you're using it on on a tablet because if you're using multiple applications, you won't even know which application is open there. I can clearly see that Ubuntu is not ready for tablet at the moment. There will be a lot of design related changes to be done to make it work perfectly on this form factor. Application that is the most important thing. How is a Canonical going to convince developers to get their applications ready for tablet? Then it's not multi-touch sensitive at the moment. A lot of useful applications are not available uh, for Ubuntu. There is no Google Drive, there is no Picasa or Flickr or Netflix available at the moment. So there are a lot of services which are missing from Ubuntu. At the same time, games which are quite popular on Nexus 7, there are no such games on Ubuntu. When I compare Android with Ubuntu, uh, I do not find myself to be using Ubuntu on my Nexus 7 or any other tablet. It is not able to take advantage of uh, the touch base screen. At the same time, it brings all the disadvantages of desktop which is lack of applications and la lack of services. So, this is one area where I think Canonical should be working on getting more applications and getting developers to work on tablet centric form factor. To cut the long story short, you have Ubuntu running on this tablet, you can enjoy it. So, thanks for watching and feel free to share your comments and thoughts on my opinion about Ubuntu on tablet.